Hey guys, my name is Vlad and this is my new video. Thank you so much for your coming back. Thank you so much for your support. In this video, we will do something really cool. We will build a chatbot. We will use Python and Gemini API. We will create a web version of AI assistant. It could be beginning of your B project. It is beginner friendly step-by-step -step guide that you can follow and at the end you will have your AI assistant. If you are interested, then let's get started. All we need are IDE, Python language, Gemini API key, and a few other Python libraries. If you don't have any code editor yet, I would recommend you use Visual Studio Code. It's supported by Windows, Linux, and Mac, and it's really powerful. Next, we will need get API key for Gemini API. Before we create any key, we need to create a project. So let's go to console.cloud.google.com and create a project. For me, it's Gemini API test. Let's create. Then we go back to website, aistudio.google.com. Select the project that we just created and hit generate a key button. Then after a few seconds, you will get your API key. But please keep in mind, you should keep it private because it's like your password. Don't show it to anyone. If you haven't set up Python on your computer yet, then you can open python.org and then depend on your operation system, you can download the installer. Since I'm using Linux, I will be using terminal. Use this command, sudo app get install python3. Then write python version to check if it's installed successfully. All other installation I will do through terminal, so I recommend you to use it. The next step we will install pip. Pip is a package installer for python, so all the libraries we will install through pip. Because we will be using Flask framework, we will need to install virtual environments. So let's install venv, then use command python 3 dash m venv my project env to create isolated python environments under the name project env. Then use the source command to activate the project environments. In the next step, we need to install Langchain framework. It's designed to simplify the creation of application using large language models. You can use pip command, pip install langchain core, and after a few seconds it will be installed. We also will need another package, langchain google chain AI. This Google package contains the langchain integration for Gemini. Use this pip command to install it, and after a few seconds it will be installed. Since we want to create a web application, we will install Flask. It's a framework for Python to create web applications. Use this pip command to install Flask. Installation could take about a minute or two, so be patient. Before we go to our development process, let's make sure that Flask is working correctly. Let me create directory. Gemini Flask app. Inside this directory, create a file, app.py, and open it in VS Code. Then copy this code and run the command Python 3 app.py. And you will be able to see that server is running on this IP address. So let's check it. I copy IP address and open it in the browser. And as you can see, my app is working fine. Okay, let's start write our main code for our chatbot. Create the index.html file and create a form inside. You can copy my code to save your time. I will share the link to GitHub project. Then let's check what we see in the browser right now. So it's a simple form that we will be using to communicate with Gemini API. I've restructured my project folder a little bit. I've created web directory where I copy my index.html file. It's a template that I will be using in my Flask app. I also connect my main.js file that I will show you a little bit later. 
I've also added the Markdown library here. It will help us output the result in more readable format. As I said, you can copy this code from my GitHub project. I also have Gemini API.js file. This file has the function that send text to the Gemini model and return the result in a smaller pieces. Instead of writing all of this code, please copy this file from my GitHub project. It basically sends post requests to an API and reads the response in chunks. JavaScript in main.js file will handle a form submission to generate a content, so we want to do it without the reloading the page. That's why it's important to have this code. Instead of writing everything, I recommend you to copy the code from my GitHub project. Okay, let's go back to our main file, app.py and add the necessary code here. Let's import two first models, a JSON and NOS. JSON, we need to work with JSON data. NOS, we will need to interact with the operation system. Then we import Flask and several functions from the Flask library. Then we import LangChain Core and LangChain Google Gen AI. This class we'll be using to communicate with Gemini API. Next, we will create our Flask application and set environment variable, Google API key. Then we define the route for the home page. Next, we define endpoint that will accept post request, API generate. When the post request is received, it gets the JSON data from the request body. Then we extract contents and model from the JSON. Then we stream the model response in chunks and send in each chunk as a JSON event stream. Then the last step would be define the route to serve static files for the web directory for any given path. So it's basically a need for our application to serve static files, for example, images, JavaScript, CSS, and so on. Let's check our application. We will ask Gemini some question. What is Gemini? Let's see the response. As you can see, it takes some time to get a response. And since we connect the stream, we will get the response chunk by chunk. It's not exactly what I want to know. Uh, let me a little bit adjust my prompt. What is Gemini AI? And right now I'm getting the better answer. As you can see, our chatbot is working. We definitely could go and improve it further, add style, add extra function. We can add vision recognition and so on. That's it. As you can see, it's not that difficult. However, I understand maybe some of you have problem during implementation. And if you do have problem, please write the comments, explain your problem, and I will try to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you find this video useful and informative. If yes, then please click like. If no, it's okay, but please click like and share your feedback and comments below. If you haven't subscribed on my channel yet, please subscribe. Please subscribe now because it's really important. You will see more interesting videos that could help you in your life. And I hope to see you again in my next videos. Bye. <laughs>